I'm way more afraid of being broke again. But I've been broke. I mean, I only was just recently broke. <laughs> like, I only just got money like a year ago. So, I think for me, though, a big reason that I'm more afraid of being broke is because I'm married. To be honest with you, if I was single, dude, I don't, like, I've realized this about men. Like, we can just. Dude, we can fucking be dirty. We can not eat. We can not shower. We can not drink water. We, we can get through the shit, right? But like for me now, because I'm married, I'm like, dude, I don't want to put my wife through that. And so I had this sense of responsibility. In the middle of the night, a cu couple nights ago, I woke up at like 3 a.m. And I woke up because I had a dream that I had $100 in my bank account. Um, I had no money in my savings and then my ad spend was still at $200 a day and I had no calls on the calendar. Literally woke, I was fucking terrified. Woke up at 3 a.m. like my heart was pumping and I just said, fuck, I'm getting up and I just woke up because I was like, I was so terrified. Um, I never wake up like that with excitement to go get rich. So, bro, I've had that dream multiple times, bro. And I've been in the negatives too with the little dash on the left side of your number in your checking account. I've had that happen a few times. Shit's scary, bro. I hate that shit. And it, it's, it's one of the worst feelings in the world. And I've been there multiple times. I was literally, like I told you, I only just recently got out of it. Also, the coffee shop job that I had, I didn't hate it there. I loved that coffee shop job. What I didn't like was like, it was it was coffee shop, basketball training, and I was doing videos for these two real estate agents. And it was hard because every single job I had, I liked all of them. I liked the realtors I worked for. Obviously I loved the kids I trained and I did love the coffee shop, but none of it was toward my purpose. And it was hard. I literally was working seven days a week, like no bullshit in the first 180 days. I might've had nine or 10 days off for 180 days. It was tough, bro. Really, really tough. Um, my wife was obviously super supportive the whole time, so it was all G, but it was fucking hard, bro. And I'll tell you this, before I even met Jeremy, bro. Crazy. This is the man that changed my fountain. Fucking like Jeremy Pogue. I was spending so much money on coaching. I spent like 15 grand. I just did my taxes again and like I got to write that off. It was over $15,000 on coaching and none of it worked. None of it worked. Like picked up some things here and there, but for the amount of money I paid each of those coaches, obviously was disproportionate to the value in a bad way. Like I did not get the value at all from any of the coaches. And I was so stuck, bro, and I was so lost, and I was so fucking scared. Cause like, what am I, I made 500 bucks, a thousand bucks a month for my business, like nothing. And I was cold DMing. I was like, what the fuck, bro? Like I was grinding and bro, I literally searched on YouTube how to get coaching clients, how to book calls for as a coach and Jeremy's video popped up and I started binging his content and yeah, literally bro, the rest of history, like Jeremy bro, he fucking saved me. Like he's, Jeremy Pogue saved me bro. He really did. If it was not for him bro, I wouldn't fucking be here bro. That's why I try to tell the story of exactly what I just told you because I, I've been there. I've been there and I genuinely believe it. I have, I'm an evangelist for my message which is that if you're a songwriter or a singer or a rapper or anybody who just, you just write lyrics and you just use your voice, I'm seriously an evangelist. I have a lot of conviction. It's very difficult to create a business even as a musician uh, at all, let alone if you can only write lyrics and record vocals. And for me, like, I know I didn't create a career where I make, technically I don't make money off of the music. I don't tour, I don't do merch. I don't like make money from songs and selling music. Right, I, I make money from coaching. However, the lane that it's opened up for me because I can produce, dude, I've met people because I can produce. I've made money producing. I have made money producing. I've gotten paid thousands and thousands of dollars. And like, I have a video right now, watch me. Dude, It's the numbers are getting run the fuck up. I have almost 130,000 views now. I've gotten over 30,000 views in the last like 10 days on that video because I have money to put into marketing it because I didn't have to spend money on producing and I fully produced it. So it's like, I'm thinking of, now I'm putting out a song a month, I'm running ads on those songs, I'm like creating content for those songs, and it's so much easier to do it, because I fucking produce my own music.